you're going to strongly want to locate the source of your misery outside of you. So the people who are most involved in left-wing activism or far-right activism overwhelmingly tend to be miserable people. Right? It's their misery that drives them into radical politics. It's the passivity with which they approach their adult responsibilities that drives them into political activism like Black Lives Matter or Antifa or the alt-right following people like Nick Fuentes and Richard Spencer. Right? If you're a dentist, a doctor, if you're a professional, if you're a CEO, if you are earning a million dollars a year, you have no interest in these radical causes. Right? The better your life is, the more likely you are to be invested in the status quo, in, in protecting what you've got. And I think much of the opposition to J.D. Vance is based on his formidable capability. Right? This is a man who is building a counter-elite, maybe. He is helping to assemble significant funding for the Trump campaign from Silicon Valley. He has significant following among right-wing intellectuals. Right? The Republican Party has a severe competency crisis because the managerial elite are now overwhelmingly on the left. Uh, federal government employees donate 97% of the time to Democrats, not to Republicans. The, the people who go to and graduate from our elite universities are overwhelmingly on the left. And as the Republicans have become the party of the working class, as they become increasingly populist, then they have steadily grown apart from our most competent, our most educated, our highest IQ elite. And you need the elite if you're going to run 